In this how-to video, we're going to review Bridge and Thicken. I've gone into the Sculpt environment, and I'm going to create two cylinders. So this is a situation you may come across when you're working on a design, where you have two freeform models, and you want to connect them together. I'm going to use two cylinders as an example. So creating the second cylinder, And there we have them. So those are the two cylinders. What I want to do is connect them together. And to do that, I'm going to use Modify Bridge. To connect them together, I need to select the same number of faces. So holding down the Control key, I'm going to select four faces on the first cylinder. And similarly, on the second cylinder, select four faces. I'm starting to see that preview and the warning until I get the correct number of faces and then the warning goes away. I can turn the preview on and off. I like to leave it turned on so I see what the end result is going to be. And I have some, some other options. So click on OK. And very quickly we've bridged or connected together those two cylinders. I want to connect the two circles on the top. So again, let's go back to Modify and Bridge. Double click on the edge. I get a preview and a warning. Let's see what the end result looks like. Well, not very good. We have a solution, but certainly not a solution that we would like. Let's go back to the home view and then undo that. So to give me a better solution, what I'm going to do is create a sketch. So I'm going to sketch, create sketch, and select the plane. Let's look at the front view. I'm going to create an arc, and that's a three-point arc. And you'll be able to see that we can snap to those points. So start point, end point, and drag that out to give the arc that I want. I can stop the sketch, go back to the home view, and then repeat the modify bridge. So the workflow is the same at the beginning. Double-click the circles. And you can see that solution that I didn't like before. This time I'm going to follow curve. So I select the arc that I made. On occasion you may get the incorrect solution and you can flip that curve. In this case it's good. Click on OK and quickly I've resolved that problem. Now I still have the ability to edit the form. Just because I use bridge doesn't take that away. So selecting a couple of faces. I can edit that form and continue refining my design. Now, as I rotate this around, effectively it has zero thickness. So my design, of course, needs some thickness to the walls, so I'm going to go down to Thicken. Select the freeform object. I've set my thickness to 2 millimeters, and click on OK. And now you can see it has a wall thickness. So to complete that design, let's review that and then turn off the visibility of the sketch in the browser.